Good morning, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here um, to talk to you about a couple more bags, three more bags from my stock. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I had my second gym visit today since the gyms opened up, uh, hence the gym hair. But anyway, I got really excited about um, a couple of the bags that I wanted to, uh, that I am going to share with you today. So I wanted to jump right in. And I don't really care what this whole thing looks like. I see some of the YouTubers I watch and they talk about doing their hair and their makeup. And yeah, I'm just not that girl. So we'll get right into it. Um, first bag is um, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy special. It's a uh, chocolate brown. It's not black. It's um, a made in China brand. Um, the thing that I like about it, though, is it has an, an internal wallet, if you can see. Um, the bag's brand new, so it still has those little card inserts that come with your wallets. And um, so it's it's a 90s bag for sure. There's not much of a strap on it. It does have a zipper in the back. For those that like a shoulder bag, I know I prefer a shoulder bag. It, it sits actually quite nice. So um, the leather is a decent, decent quality leather, nice and soft. Again, I like that. So um, if you're looking for something functional and, uh, you know, something a little different, because it is a little different, um, this is available in my Etsy store. Did my nails. Ha <laughs> ha. That was uh, disgraceful yesterday. As my mom says, that's disgraceful. So it was disgraceful. So that bag goes here. Now, this bag I really, 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 really like. Um, this is an 80s bag from the uh, brand Calderon. Now, Calderon was a Canadian leather store, much like Brown's, I would say. Brown's is still in business. But Calderon uh, went bankrupt in 1998. And Aldo bought them out. So nice little strap it's it's not a lengthy strap it will not go cross body it's a shoulder for sure but it's just a nice the leather is beautiful calderon um they, they were a high end uh i remember i think i was 16 and i saved up all summer for a pair of boots and um and a bag and uh actually oh my goodness me it's so dusty this is the bag that I saved up for. Look at the dust. <laughs> oh dear, how embarrassing. But anyways, uh, this is the bag that I bought along with those boots. It's uh, a little damaged now, but yeah, this was 1985, I want to say. Still use it um, when I was uh, able to run my pop-up shops. This is what I would uh, carry my business cards and my change and everything in. So, um, yeah, this this uh, quality leather doesn't ever go out of uh, style and it very rarely wears out. So this great Calderon bag, it has this, um, I don't know if it's Bakelite. It looks like it's Bakelite. It probably isn't if it's from the 80s, but it's a very... Uh, very kind of amber brown accent here and this gathered front just little details like that are just so precious that's the back side and has the magnet closure on there so inside um there is a pocket here with a zipper and then your main pocket with a zipper in the back it's got a velvet interior and there's that calderon uh label Handmade in Italy. So that's the kind of quality that this company used to deliver. And uh, like I said, Aldo was kind of the young person's leather store. And this was your, you know, probably, uh, you know, your business woman's leather store. But uh, I do get occasional Calderon pieces, Holt Renfrew pieces, that kind of thing. But this is this is a really nice bag. So that will be on my Etsy store for purchase if you are uh, a fan. Now the next bag, I love Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne back in the day was the it bag. Um, I just saw a list on Facebook today of 1980s movies that you must watch. And one of them is Working Girl with Melanie Griffith. And in this movie, 
she um, kind of accidentally takes over from her boss, who is a Sigourney Weaver. She has a ski accident, and Melanie Griffiths with Harrison Ford uh, become the it couple. And meanwhile, she's incognito. Harrison Ford doesn't know. She's not the woman, and they fall in love and blah, blah, blah. But this is the bag that Melanie Griffith carries because she goes to Sigourney Weaver's house and she takes an outfit or two or three to wear because she's trying to pretend to be this woman. So not this color. The color in the movie is the gray with the black trim. But I really like this one. It's a great bag. And you see her putting her Filofax in the back. Remember those things? I got tons of those vintage day timers, Filofax. Oh, you, oh, you have no idea. We'll get to those. Like I said, I've got tons of stuff. So, um, yeah, Filofax was in here and um, the strap. So it's uh, pockets. And Liz Claiborne actually puts a date. So this is 1984, I believe. Yeah, 1984. Now, Liz Claiborne was one of the first Fortune 500 companies to be owned by a woman. In 1986, she started her company in 1976. So just in 10 years, she um, uh, ran her own company and then it ended up encompassing a whole bunch of different companies. In actual fact, um, Neiman Marcus uh, bought uh, Kate Spade in 2006 and then uh, 2007, 2008, Liz Claiborne bought Kate Spade. So if you look at some of the styles of the Kate, this is a Kate Spade bag. Kate Spade has a bag exactly the same as this. It's just the block print. I think I saw one that has purple, turquoise, orange. It's this bag. So these bags cycle around, especially when they're owned by the same company. Now, Kate Spade uh, was bought out by a Tapestry, that is the company that now owns uh, Coach. And uh, Liz Claiborne was in that package deal as well. 2017 for like $2.65 billion or some crazy amount like that. So... Um, yeah, just th this isn't leather. This is their signature kind of coated canvas, but all the, the trim is leather. And it, it's, I mean, this bag, I don't even think it's been used. It's just gorgeous. And every time I try and sell it, I'm like, oh, I like it. But I don't wear shoulder bags and I don't wear crossbody bags. So this, you know, it's, it's a great, great icon piece. So again, Available for sale in my Etsy store, and I will leave the uh, address for that in the descriptions below. If you're new to my channel and you like, uh, you know, kind of being Snoopy in my, my closet, then by all means continue watching, because like I said, I've got stock for months and months and months to come. If you are interested in the history pieces, whenever something comes along that I know a little bit about, I'll share it with you because it, it is actually what I love to do is research these companies and, and find out a little bit about them. So that being said, that's my three bags for today. Uh, I may, may do another one later on today. I just love doing this. I don't edit anything. It is what it is. Um, if that drives you nuts, then I apologize. But it's certainly what I prefer to watch when I watch my YouTube people. So have a great rest of the day. I think I might head to the beach this afternoon, uh, working hard as usual. <laughs> but um, anyway, thank you for joining me and have a great day.